Welcome back to my video. This is a video on how being vegan saved my life or saved my migraines. If you don't know and you're new here, I'm Haley of Life and Haley. If you like these videos, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe and comment and tell me if you like it and stuff. So, welcome back if you're not new. Today is a sit down video, obviously. I'm sitting. Please ignore this Halloween decoration as it is November 6th and I haven't took it down, so. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna give you a little overview of my migraine journey and how and a migraine update that's what we're doing so I'm gonna lay it all out um, super brief because my story is technically almost 20 years old like long so we're just gonna shorten it um, it all started back on a clear sunny day no I'm just um, I was nine years old I remember getting them migraines when I was nine years old and I well there were headaches back then so I was getting headaches when I was nine I always go to the doctor and they couldn't do anything for me they would give me medicine the medicine is for migraines but if you're an adolescent adult migraine medicine does not work for you um, so they're basically just giving me meds to try to see if it works even though scientifically it will not work so there's that I've taken a, like I said a lot of medicine prescribed and I changed my diet um, as a child um, kind of I did like lactose because they thought I was lactose one time and which come find out I actually am lactose I went in my night like 20s well I'm still 20s <laughs> um, like 2021 20, I went gluten free and I think dairy free um, since then I've been mainly dairy free also because like I said I'm lactose but I went gluten free that didn't help my migraines because I know if you're glu if you're like allergic to gluten it can inflame and stuff like that so I tried that I've tried all the meds that they've given me and things like that 24 going like nearly 25 I went to a specialist um, that specialized in like migraines and headaches they're neurologists but they like specialize in that and she gave me medicine um, the medicine kind of helped um, it was still like more than half the month like it, they were really bad and then it kind of got down to where I still had headaches every day but my migraines weren't as often then to help boost that or whatever the case is she added a second medicine on top of that that completely made it worse stop taking that immediately because I was in so much pain and then I realized that my other medicine basically wasn't working anymore. So I don't know why my body does that. I've gone, I've taken so many different pills growing up with my migraines that my body just knows what to do and doesn't, I guess, hold attachment to things. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. So um, I quit taking them all together probably about six months now. Since turning actually 25, they've gotten like a lot worse. Um, they're to the point where like I'm in bed I can't le like I wake up sometimes and my migraine is so bad that when I wake up it's hard to move my head and I need to just go back to sleep it makes it really hard for work um, as you can tell like I have like blue or purple reflective in my glasses um, I have a blue light protector on my glasses because we thought maybe that was contributing to the migraines which so um, blue light is in the Sun and computers and like video games and phones and all that obviously so um, having my blue light protector um, helps decrease the light in my eyes and so it actually helps a lot but um, it's still I still get migraines um, I used to not be sensitive to light or anything like that and now I'm super sensitive to all of that when I do have a migraine it's like really bad it like completely did like a 180 360 I don't know what to use um, and now I'm like so much pain always now I can't really be on like video games all day um, my ring light I cannot be in front of for a long time it hurts um, the screen at work I'm in front of it all the time but I just it's work so I have to push through it um, and so yeah these help so far 
I asked my specialist if I could change my diet if I should because my aunt said that she changed her diet and like helped it tremendously and so I don't she just said no like you could lose weight and that could help because the inflammatory in your body helps take the pressure off like head your head or whatever um, so she said I could do that and then take the preventative and so I kind of like didn't even think of it and then like I said I stopped taking the preventative and my aunt introduced me to a list of migraine triggers I also googled more and I found a lot more triggers and I no longer eat those um, the one trigger that it says on paper that's a trigger is mushrooms and so you'll see me eat mushrooms all the time um, that actually doesn't trigger me at all um, Michael has a theory that it actually helps because uh, I've been eating all the migraine and then we'll he'll cook me something or we'll eat something and there'll be mushrooms in it and it goes away so he thinks he has a little secret um but so I eat mushrooms already proven <laughs> I eat mushrooms all the time, so that's one thing that's not a trigger that's on the list that, yeah. So, I still eat those. Um, opposite of a trigger. I know. So, like I said, she sent me the list of the triggers, and I went through it. Um, and then I realized all of these triggers are not in vegan food. Like, this is how I started. Um, <coughs> <coughs> this is how... <laughs> now nah, I got something stuck in my throat. So basically, I found out that all my triggers are not in any, like, vegan food. Well, so you can have nuts and stuff like that per the migraine trigger list. And a lot of vegan food have, like, nuts and stuff like that. So I'm lying on that part. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> all the other things are not um, in the vegan foods so I noticed that eating vegan um, basically helped me tremendously and um, made me feel a little better so basically I cut out everything um, that was on that land I can um, add it to my Instagram where you guys can see like um, the guys have migraines also I can send you like it'll be on my Instagram um, it's underscore hey Haley with two E's um, and so check that out in like my little highlight um, I do not eat vegan because it's trendy like I said in my other video it's solely on my health um, I didn't think I could eat vegan I thought I was gonna go crazy like I love meat I'm like psycho when it comes to that like I love burgers um, and the first two weeks were hard I literally had like a mental breakdown I was like crying it was just a mess because I couldn't find anything I liked I didn't know where to go or what to look and so I'm actually gonna do a um, grocery haul and so you guys can see what I get what I eat and um, where I like Michael makes me food because I don't cook I sound so freaking spoiled babe I don't cook my dinner, my boyfriend does. Like, ugh. Ugh. Um, oh, it looks like I sound exactly like that. <laughs> I don't know why. I just sound so spoiled. But Michael, shout out to this man. Um, he literally cooks me dinner every night. Um, even when we go out to eat, I mainly eat vegan. So what I'm trying to say is I will eat meat. 100%. But do I... All the time no I eat meat probably 90 I eat vegan oh my god I almost mix it up I eat vegan 90% of the time the only time there's like a 10% if we go out and I happen to have like chicken strips or something but it's gonna cost me a migraine so like when I don't eat vegan and clean I'm gonna have a migraine after I already know it like that's what I'm trying to get at so I eat vegan solely because my body feels good I will still have headaches but my migraines are not as bad I honestly don't think my headaches will ever go away which is horrible I do not wish this upon anyone like I feel so bad that any uh, anyone else has migraines and they don't know why I don't know why we don't know why we'll never know why I don't know why I think it's genetics a lot of my little cousins have migraines I'm a mess we're a mess it's okay um, basically I realized that vegan, I will probably have to eat vegan for the rest of my life if I want to feel better and be better. I function better off of eating vegan. I feel better. My migraines are not so bad. I don't even, sometimes I won't even have a migraine. Um, the other day I had such a bad migraine. I was like crying, like almost crying. Um, 
and I literally ate my food that my <laughs> I can't even talk Michael cooked for me and instant like relief it literally gives me like instant relief besides like my CBD stuff um, but when it comes to eating food I'm sticking with that um, like I said you might see me on social media like flashing some wings around I don't know just know I'm paying the price later I did like I said a little recap I stopped drinking soda it's been 10 weeks um, I eat mainly vegan like I said, I'm going to have a video of a grocery haul so you guys can see everything I got. And then, um, that's all. I drink mainly water, whether it's sparkling or flavored. And I'm obsessed with these, which these are not healthy, but I love these. I will go to, if he gets McDonald's, I will get a sweet tea from McDonald's, okay? Like, I will not say that I'm the best person out there I'm just giving you guys like a migraine experience and like what I'm going through kind of like a migraine update up, <laughs> upgrade update because um, a lot of my Facebook people know about my migraines and how I've been dealing with them on social media so I just wanted to kind of put a formally update out there so I didn't have to like kind of write it out you know so yeah if you like this video I know it's not my normal <laughs> Haley video but you know um if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want more videos about my update um hopefully my migraines will be completely gone the more long I'm eating just straight like vegan so um I just wanted to say that they've decreased in pain level since then it's been about I think two months about a month and a half fully um and so we'll see. Um, just know I'm eating all of the Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. I don't care. I'll cry about it later when I'm in pain. Yeah, that's dumb. Can't stop me. So um, check out my next video. Much love. Hope you enjoy this. And bye.